Yo, what is up guys? Coach Tech here. So today we got a soundboard of review. It's from Polk. It's the Cigna 2. Let's get to it. All right, so guys, let me show you this box. Now this is the box that basically, when you get the soundboard, this is the box that comes with it. And that's a big box. I beat it up, guys. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's all like beat up and whatnot. But let's uh, let's run through the, um, the advertising from Polk exactly what you get. So you get a universal TV, um, universal TV sound bar and wireless subwoofer. Uh, just basically means you get a sound bar. I don't know what exactly what the universal stuff, they're all universal. Uh, easy setup, connect to TV to sound bar, exclusive full, um, complete deep bass technology, wireless music streaming, blah, 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 typical, typical branding, a performance tuned surround sound, Dolby Digital, most, every, honestly, to be honest, all the sound bars that I reviewed did have Dolby Digital. Uh, Polk voice adjustment technology, we're gonna talk about that. It has its ups and downs. Uh, technology Polk voice adjust, okay, I did mention that. And a low profile design, that's always good and bad. You, you gotta understand, you have a low profile soundbar, you have low profile drivers. So that's, that's not good, personally, I'm not a fan of that. Um, and that's basically it, very simple. Uh, it supports HDMI, Dolby Audio, wireless sub, Bluetooth, and so on and so forth. That's basically um, done with the box. All right, since we got the box out the way, uh, let's talk about exactly what comes in the box. So we get this remote control, uh, very simple remote. It has its uh, simple uh, presets you guys could see. And you know, it does come with, it does come with batteries. Now the batteries are in the back. Uh, I do have some issues with this remote. It's not very responsive, guys. Uh, look, it has its, it has, as I'm gonna turn on the soundboard, I'm gonna show you guys, it has its bass, the volume, TV auxiliary Bluetooth. Uh, this is movie mode. So you guys can see movie mode, night mode, which is really good. What night mode basically does, it lowers the boom, the bass, and it, and it um, enhances the, the audio, the dialect. So if you're watching this late at night and you don't wanna disturb people, your neighbors, so you wanna maybe enable night mode. If you're a savage like kosher, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But anyways, and then we have music. And then we have our three different voice adjusts, um, which are good and bad. Uh, I feel that usually when it's on the third for voice adjustment, it just makes everything louder, the dialogue dialogue louder, but it just gets so distorted, man. I'm not a fan of that. I think the sweet spot is for two, at least for me. And then we have mute. One more time, guys. You guys can see how the remote looks. Very simple. Uh, next, we have mounting screws. You can mount this. I'm gonna show you guys later. And then we have this little mountain thing over here. Uh, it does come with optical. So we have optical in the box and it does come with HDMI guys, which is, yo, big shout out to Pokeman giving us all the necessary connect uh, connections. And it does come with two non-polarized wires, one for the soundbar and one for the sub. So you guys can see it. Non-polarized, non-polarized, which basically means that it has two rounds and not like a square and one round. That's basically all it means. And then we have booklets. Basically, this is gonna run through you, run through how, how to install the soundbar. You know, you guys could read it and you know install the soundbar. And then we have booklets about about the soundbar and all a bunch of languages and whatnot. Polk. Um, downside is I didn't see, I couldn't find exactly what um what wattage the soundbar has and what uh, wattage the uh, the sub has. I don't know why Polk didn't um, address that in the in this manual and then we have some other booklets and whatnot but you know it is what it is man just typical bs and stuff like that but anyways let's let's let me put the sound bar in front of you guys and let's check out the sound bar all right guys so this is the sound bar of course it has the no no mesh you know kosher hates the mesh it has the no no mesh going all the way around in the front uh on top we have our indicators over here we have for volume for different sources and uh for power and for standby options and one more time, just to show you guys, uh, these are not, they're not loud. I like these. These are not really loud, clicky. They're clicky, but they're not loud. Uh, on the back is where we have most of our sources. I believe here we have our power, or you guys could see it, what we have here. We have HDMI, ARC, we have optical, and I believe we have auxiliary. Yep, we don't get an auxiliary wire, but Honestly cares about that and then we have our power over here we do have USB in the back but it says only for service use uh, it only says for service use so I'm not sure if we can honestly use the uh, this USB but uh, let's talk about the specs of the soundbar now we do have four speaker drivers built in 
um, we do have two woofers and we have two tweeters. So all together we just basically have four speakers built into the sound bar. Uh, like it says in the box, it's very small, it's low profile, but you guys also have to understand with low profile sound bars, the woofers are very small. So when you when you jack up that volume, it's just it, it's gonna it's not gonna sound as clear and as crisp as you guys would want to you know as you guys would want to hear it. But it does have that option. So if you're a fan of these low profile sound bars, this is probably a sound bar that you would want. Now, price wise, uh, price wise, listen for 200 bucks. I like to talk about price most, mostly in conclusion, but for $200, you know, I'll test out the product for you guys to hear exactly and for you guys to decide if this is something for you, you know, something that you guys would enjoy for $200. It's not bad. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and, and you know, take a dump on Polk on, on the soundbar. It's not bad for the price. Let me just show you guys the, let me just show you guys the sub pretty quick. All right, so this is the sub. Now, of course, in the front, again, we got this mesh design. I'm not exactly sure why Polk got the mesh going, very simple sub. In the back, it's right over here. We have our sync button here that we could press to basically sync it if you need to sync it. And honestly, sinks from the get-go. We have these uh, rubber paddings to show you guys. Uh, the sub kind of does slide. You know, it's a decent sized sub. I'm gonna have everything in the description basically on the specifications and dimensions of, this, of both products. But yeah, the sub, Look, since they come in a combo, I do test them as a combo. If they came separately, I'll test them separately. As a combo, they sound good. I'm gonna play some music, and of course, we're gonna take some uh, TV audio just to give you guys some testing. But um, let's definitely play some music now, let's go. All right, you guys, so the sound bar is turned on. Now you're gonna see this uh, blue light indicator, meaning that Bluetooth in is connected. Now, unfortunately, the light, there's no way to disable or enable it, it's just always on. So if you're not a fan of those lights that are constantly on, unfortunately, the sound bar does have it. Now, next, we don't have a display here showing us exactly uh, if it's connected to Bluetooth. Like I said, this little indicator, there's only a light that basically indicate how this sound bar, what is the sound bar connected to. There's also no display. See, there's no display, nothing indicating the volume, uh, what source it's connecting to. And it just, I'm not a fan of that. Like I, when I reviewed the JBL, um, what is it? The, the sound bar, the bar 2.1, it had that. It had, the UI basically had everything whether the volume, what source is connected, so it's a lot easier to see. Unfortunately, this is just standard, you know, which is just honestly, for me, it's a no-go. But it is connected to Bluetooth. One more time, you guys are gonna see it. There's this uh, blue light indicator. Uh, let's play some music, and exactly, let's hear how it sounds. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Kosher Classic, of course. We're gonna play with some vocals, play a few songs with vocals, and then I'm gonna turn up some bass. Let's go. All these empty faces talking about problems, I don't care. So basically right now you guys can see that I'm lowering the volume and there's no indicator. You see, I don't like that. I don't know where I'm at exactly with the volume. I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? Sounded good. I like I like the way it sounds. I like the bass. I like the bass dropping in there with the extra thump. Like I do. I have the I have the sub connected. It is of course on the floor, but it sounds it sounds good. I can't say it doesn't sound bad. Let's play another vocal song. All right. So I got something else connected. Let's go.
see, like I'm dancing right now. You see that? See, the issue is I, I don't know exactly where I have the volume. I don't know what's the max volume, and I don't know what you know 90%, 80%, 50% is. I don't have that indicator. Like I said, that's a big pain. All right, let's play. Uh, let's play maybe one last song. All right, we, so we got one last song on. Of course, it's another kosher classic, guys. Let's go. Let me turn up the volume. Let's go. tell you this guys man trance always does sound good in these sound bars. <laughs> so i had my sub just going absolutely insane it was just going thump 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 uh it did sound it did sound uh, good i gotta admit it the, the music when i was playing of course these are non these are all non-copyright music I, unfortunately i can't play no other songs because then i'm gonna get hit but uh it, it sounded good the only problem is once you start jacking it all the way up that's where some issues do come with this sound bar like i said you know the low profile small drivers small tweeters you know that's that's where the uh, the, the problem lies with these low profile sound bars but anyways let's uh, connect it to the uh, to the tv let me let's play some demos there too and basically um let's rock on conclusion then let's go all right guys so the sound bar is connected as you guys can see remember that white indicator i said it was always on it's right there solid white and we have the sub connected right here. So of course we got Thor Ragnarok. Let's roll. That bass is like, oh, go for that. Right now. So the thing is with this remote, the problem is a lot of times. I'm gonna put it right here. See, so I'm trying to. I, I'm increasing the bass right now. I don't. I don't have an indication of what's the maximum bass. Same thing in volume. I believe it's on max. I don't have that indication as well. That's probably the downside. Also, this remote is not very responsive. I have problems with this. Let's play something else. I want to demo something else for you guys. All right, guys. So let's just play something just with audio. Of course, let's play Joe Rogan. Let's go. tense world we're living in today. We got a president that's threatening to fight an ex-vice president. <laughs> you pay attention to that shit? Just a couple weeks ago on Twitter, Donald Trump said that if he fought Joe Biden, Joe Biden would go down fast and hard. <laughs> I want to get in his ear. I'm like, let's make this happen, bro. There's a lot. There's money on the table. I'll commentate for free. No rules. Grow your nails out. Wear a diaper. No clothes. To the death. All right, that was too funny. But anyways, we had the, of course, we left it on the voice activation all the way to three. Ah, man, I'm just saying it's a little crackly when you put it on max volume, guys. But anyways, let's get to conclusion. All right, guys, so let's look at the soundbar one last time. Again, mesh front, you have buns on top. Very light, not too heavy, low profile. And we have the Polk insignia over here. But all right, that's that. The remote, listen, my beef with the remote is it's just not very responsive, man. Every time I press like these, the volume indicator, you got to press them more than once for the volume to actually change. I like the, the preset voice adjust, they're not too bad, but I just feel like as you raise it, it just becomes a little more crackly, you know, it just gets a little too distorted. But all right, what do I think about it? $200, I got to say, listen, it's not too bad, guys. Uh, there are... For that price with a sub, I'm not sure if there's a better option. I know the Yamaha Yaz 108, which I reviewed now, that didn't have a sub and that had the same price range. Um, I would always take a soundbar with a sub because you're gonna, you're gonna want and you're gonna need that bass. It's not a bad product. I can't sit here and, and you know, fault on poke of saying that this is a bad product. It's not a bad product. I wish it had a better UI system. I wish I could have actually seen the volume 
that I'm adjusting. Now, I know on the TV, you guys, I know on the TV, since it's HDMI, you could do that. Yes, I know that, guys. Fall back. But still, I prefer to see that also on the soundbar because as well as bass, when I'm clicking the clicker for bass, I don't know exactly wh wh where's the bass. Is it is it on 10? Is it on 20? What's the maximum? You know, on the bar 2.1, I saw that, which was nice. It was a neat feature. You know, it's not a gimmick, which was nice. And, you know, the, it, it's not bad. Look, I can't say here, like I said, I can't, you know, it's not bad. For 200 bucks, you get yourself a TV. Look, you get nowadays any of these flat screens, the sound is going to be terrible. You're going to want to pair it up with a sound bar. You get the sound bar. It's going to be good. It's going to be decent. You know, let me know, guys, if you guys are going to buy it. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you thought about it. In my personal opinion, it's not bad. It's not a bad product. For the budget, it's not a bad product. Now, if you're trying to move up a little, you know, to 100 bucks more, I'd say definitely get the bar 2.1. That thing is absolutely beast. And of course, I also did review that soundbar. But within the 200 budget, if you're looking for a soundbar with a sub, I'd probably say the Polk. Uh, Signa, Signa 2 is um, it's it's a fairly decent soundbar for that um, for that price. And of course, I'm gonna have everything in the description below where to buy it and all the specs, anything that I missed, guys. But as always, guys, I'm Coach Tech, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Deuces.